Time now to look at the second page of handout three, which is this one here, where we see this rhythm, where we have a combination of the quaver and the semi-quaver. And that gives us a rhythm that sounds like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a... So we're counting as if we're playing semi-quavers. One E and a two E and a... But we're silent on the E. Well, I say silent, we're not actually going to be making contact with any strings on the E. Now, for the first four bars, uh, this shouldn't present too much of a challenge again, but the fourth bar we have a slight change in rhythm where we go to a crotchet and then a quaver and then back to the quavers and semi quavers. Um, and when you're playing that or when you're listening to it, it'll feel like the tempo has dropped significantly. But the important thing here is to keep the tempo at the, at the same pace all the way through. And the way to achieve that is just to make sure you're either tapping your foot or we're counting out loud while we're playing this. So I'm going to play through, same format, I'll take it slowly and then we'll bring it up to speed. Okay, one, two, three, four. Get that? Okay, one more time, but a little bit quicker this time. And I'm going to count to four twice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. So, um, next step is, of course, just to play through those, use this video, go back, um, try to play along, and, and then move on. Happy practicing.